today is a challenge between Marcus number one and Marcus number two. Oh, Marcus number one. Two. I'm actually Devontae. <laughs> Devontae, what's up? And Devontae shoots film, right? No. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, shoots digital, right? Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, he's so shape. All right. No, I'm just saying, he shoots digital, right? So we can create, create this inspiration. Look, I shoot digital, but look. But we got it. It is. And today is our model. I'm Haley Holman. And she's turned. She's got the skates on today. You can find me on Instagram, Holman Haley. Holman Haley. IG. Okay, so today, uh, Marcus, you gonna take off with it? We will start. Marcus, you gonna start. Okay. I'm shooting with my mommy. What camera are you shooting with? Sony A7 III. Sony A7 III is the bro that shoot long. Oh, hell. I got NF filter, or MD filter. I'm not gonna lie, I have a Pro Miss uh, Tiffin full stop filter too, so. Oh, uh, the, the dream filter type thing, or? Full uh, stop meaning, like it's, it's the, the uh, highest the, blur. Just like this. Yes, yes, but the highest blur, so. That's why your stuff will sit in max. <laughs> I mean, it do already with the film, though. It, it, I make it times 10, though. Yeah. So let's knock this out. This way, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Good? Yeah. Oh, God. Don't even that boy up. you guys enjoyed you know the first episode of all things mental um, the next episode is coming I haven't recorded it yet but I do have that person that I'll be shooting uh, 
on my Instagram account. I got a lot of good feedback, man. And I really enjoyed that uh, from you guys loving the concept that I uh, gave uh, as far as for all things mental and or it's all mental and uh, the pictures that I took. But most of all, um, I want you guys to know that it's, it's a really uh, concerning, uh, you know, position that I'm coming from, you know, just stemming from, you know, the way things are for all of us, uh, mentally, physically, uh, spiritually, or however you may put it. But yeah, man, it's coming from a, a wholeheartedly uh, valued place. So uh, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. This shoot I had, uh, that you guys are going to be uh, checking out or have already checked out. I don't know how I'm going to arrange this video, but uh, it was really dope, you know. Uh, and this video is going to be about collaborating with, uh, let's just say, local businesses uh, and how to go about that. So uh, with this shoot, you know, I was um, actually referred by a person who uh, connected, connected NoCo Park to me. Uh, NoCo Park is the uh, local business here. Uh, they're new. They're just now. Uh, uh, you know, uh, ramping out a new uh, facility. So with that said, there are a lot of cool things happening in, inside there that people are also paying attention to that are, you know, uh, from this area. And with that said, you know, they're paying attention to it because there's a lot of cool things going on. A lot of good colors, a lot of uh, fun activities, and a lot of, uh, let's just say, a lot of uh, things to expect coming out of this building and what they do. Uh, so I'm grateful for the connection. So, uh, but here, here is what I, what I want to talk about. A lot of times, you know, uh, things like this, what I'm doing for this business, this business comes with, uh, you know, uh, a check. And, uh, you know, a lot of us expect checks, you know, if we get hit up for our work. And uh, for me personally, yes, I, I believe I should get a check, but do I, do I want to get a check? No, not yet. And however you feel about that, it doesn't matter. But the way I'm gonna uh, go about it is through how I feel uh, it should be longevity wise. If you're connecting with a business or, or even a company or you know, a person or whatever. I don't uh, expect to get paid because I see the, uh, I see the vision in this company. You know, they're new, uh, they, do, they could pay me if they wanted to. Um, you know, like they're paying every other uh, person that's collaborating with them for this event, but I'm looking at it in, in a long-term, uh, uh, you know, let's just say a long-term way. I want this to be a thing uh, that I can do for them, you know, until they die out. Uh, as far as creative-wise, I've been given the opportunity to, you know, create their content, uh, you know, just do everything content-wise for them uh, to provide an image. And, and that's what I'm uh, picking up. And I'm picking up right there where they're, uh, where they're uh, trying to, uh, create value with the community with me being a huge part of the community in certain aspects not just creatively I'm able to help them uh, you know conjure that idea up and make that idea a thing um, but when it comes to like you know me being a photographer and me taking on this job you know it, it comes with uh, a lot of things you know I, it's out of my pocket as far as since I shoot a film these pictures are coming out of my pocket I'm paying for the film, I'm developing myself at home, uh, I'm devoting my time, I'm actually even doing a video for them or videos for them, uh, you know, for their website and for their events. And it's taking a lot of time, so you would think that I would get paid for that. Uh, I think anyone else, if they would have got a hold of anyone else around here, the work wouldn't have been as good. It would be good, but not as good. And I'm not cocky, I'm just being uh, realistic due to just where I am and the, the content that people create. It's not on my level as far as, you know, how the quality is, is, is great. Uh, you know, they're, they, they might shoot well, but their quality, it's not gonna go well uh, when it matches up to mine. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna pan out. So, you know, another individual that they would have hit up if they did, would have taxed them. You know, I'm pretty sure with the work I'm doing, it's worth, uh, if they were to actually, if I was to actually build them, uh, I'm already at, uh, 1100 to, to 1500 dollars if I was to build them uh, with my with my prices of the things that I'm giving them it's definitely about 1500 dollars worth of work that I'm giving them but I've connected with these guys as far as not can with them on a different level to where you know 
We're gonna go from a different standpoint. And I think that's what a lot of us need to start doing as photographers. Uh, we need to start coming at a standpoint to where uh, helping not yourself, not just yourself build, but the place of business or that person or however that, or whatever that is, you need to be able to uh, leave, leave, leave room to grow somewhere and not just, oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I uh, charge a thousand dollars for that and 500 for that. So uh, yeah, I need half of that deposit down before I start. Like we don't need to start there all the time. Sometimes you need to, you need to just be humble enough to sit back and you know, uh, just let things happen. But with the same, let's just say, same intention that you would if you had gotten paid a check. That's that's what that's, that's what we need to do. You need to you need to devote yourself in a different way now. I feel like if you're wanting to really grow your business, photography wise, whatever you're doing that has anything to do with creating content, you don't always have to get that check first. And, and I think that's been a, a huge uh, worry for a lot of us that are creating content out here. But worried about that check just so we can, uh, you know, call ourselves entrepreneurs or professional photographers. That check doesn't have to come every time. And the funny part about it is, if you have that in mind sometimes, some people you work with, uh, the work that comes back that you create could be your best work. And I'm not saying that this is my best work, but it's great, you know, I, I love the images, how they turned out. I shot with Portrait 160, uh, shot with Portrait 400 for some photos too, for about 10 of those photos, but man, the, 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 the way that these photos turned out is, is just immaculate. I've got a lot of attention from them on my Instagram account. You know, people are wondering where this place is. They're like, oh my God, this place is awesome. I wanna shoot there, I wanna come there to the event. You know, uh, we're creating uh, traffic for no code part in itself, not just me. And it's and it's from a different standpoint, you know, it's the love that they're, that they're getting is even better. You know, than the love that I'm getting from creating, helping them create these uh, images and put, put them out there and give them in content wise. It's just been awesome. And uh, I'm really enjoying this process. And it's only been like five days. Five, I'm only five days into, you know, connecting with these guys and staying uh, afloat with them, you know, folding them out content here and there. But it's, it's just amazing. And, you know, I got to thinking like, man, a lot of people don't move like this. So my question to you guys is, do you feel that everything you do and create has to have a check? Or do you feel that from the standpoint that I'm coming from is, is, is definitely helpful in some, uh, in regards to, you know, growing your business. It's not all about just growing by getting your bank account fat. It's all also about growing with, you know, uh, let's just say connecting with individuals also. And that's important for you to be able to even, you know, gain more referrals. Like this company now that I'm working for, they'll, they'll put in, in an awesome recommendation. If, I, if I'm, I'm pretty sure if anyone else reached out to them about who's creating their content, you know, like it, it's, there are a lot of perks to this way of being. You can move in different ways when you're, when you're a content creator. You don't have to always go about it by, okay, I need my money first, uh, and then you get your content second. You know, like sometimes just give the content, man, you know, in, in, in hopes of, you know, them understanding that, hey, this is worth it. You know, like a lot of times, let them see what it's worth. Don't don't place a worth on it because, you know, like that's your opinion. The work you're creating is art. Yes, indeed. But sometimes if you have a genuine connection with somebody, let them give you an, give you an idea on what, they, on what it's worth. Like let them, because honestly, it's a training ground for yourself. It'll allow you to, you know, know where you're fucking up at. Like, I'm the type of guy who, I wanna hang out with who's hating on me because they're gonna put me on game with the things that I'm lacking in first before the person that, that isn't hating on me. Like, the person that hates on you the most, they're the ones that are pointing out your flaws sometimes. So if I have someone pointing out my flaws all the time, oh, come on, you're my best fucking friend. Like seriously, you're my best fucking friend. <laughs> you're letting me know what I need to work on. So, yes guys, go about it in a different way sometime. Uh, perspective is, is definitely serious.
But yeah, man, hopefully you guys are understanding the gist of what I'm talking about when it comes to just uh, collaborating with local with local businesses or a, a business uh, and uh, how to go about the co that collaboration when it comes to uh, your connection with them and, and the work you create also with, you know, uh, what you want to charge or whatever you want to go about that. Uh, these are just ideas that I've ex that I have through my experience of uh, shooting photography for the past three to five years. Uh, uh, but yeah, man, uh, it was very great to be able to connect with Noco Park. Uh, well, I'll be continuously connecting with them, especially uh, due to me uh, looking forward to the longevity of creating content for these guys. Uh, so stay on the lookout for anything I'm doing uh, through uh, Noco Park. Um, also, make sure you guys hit that bell button and the subscribe button, please. And comment on, on this video with uh, how you feel about my idea. Like, what is, like, do you think that that's a good idea to uh, not charge uh, for some, some of your work? Or do you feel like your work has to have a, a price on it? Like, do you? I wanna know. Uh, please comment down below. I know I was kind of everywhere with this video, but it's because I got a lot going on outside of here in my mind, uh, you know, positively. I got a lot of uh, uh, content that I need to dish out. So uh, to say less, I'm gonna get to my shit and hopefully you get into your shit and make your shit pop. Uh, make sure you like, like I said, like, subscribe, uh, share the video, say what's up, do whatever, man. Uh, but most of all, be mindful. Uh, I'll catch you guys later on this next shoot. Hopefully you guys are tuned in to that too. Y'all be easy. Peace.